so guys i just want to say hi i'm adriana this is miss kazumi hi everyone so i know i had a lot of people who were super excited totally counts see it counts, totally counts. I'm pretty sure going down or otherwise having to keep men and women separate. <laughs> or, or what about saying like, I love you. That's a body. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The reason why I think I have so much, um, that I think the reason why I have so much, like when people are like, no, no way 5,000. I'm like, for sure. Because when I used to go to festivals, I'd be like, if you. Wait, 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 wait. What? Did she say 5,000 bodies? Over. F Man, listen. If she think it's 5,000 bodies, it's probably significantly more than that. Because nobody has ever really, like, once you get past a certain number, you stop counting. It's like once you make so much money, you don't really know how much money you didn't really made in your lifetime because you just stop counting. You just start weighing that junk. You know what I'm saying? Her body count got to be based off of weight now. It can't, it can't be based off of the actual number. 5,000 bodies? Five bands? Whew. Let me save my thoughts. Let me continue. If you can find me, I'll give you a free blowjob. So I literally, like, at festivals, I think in one night, I have, like, 50 or 60 blowjobs. And, like, they're a three-day event. Do you completion? For sure, yeah. No way. And I even got most of them to sign model releases. How are you not dead? Like. I know. I mean, I always, like, did, when I did those, like, random stranger games, I guess they were wearing condoms. Yeah. Guess, like, but luckily, I'm alive. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's insane, bro. That's absolutely insane. And I don't really understand what we what we justify in and how it is that we continue to deal with it. Here, see, here's the thing. When I hear stuff like that, it weird me out because it's like, yo, we had, we had this one conversation that's happening on one end of the spectrum where a lot of women and a lot of guys are saying that body count don't matter. And then you got other people on the other end of the spectrum that's saying that it's absolutely instrumental. But how don't body count matter? For, even from a guy's perspective, like, let's just say, for example, you know what I'm saying? You know we separate them from hoes to housewives, right? Cool. Makes sense. Awesome. I'm with it. But here's the thing. If it's some simp or some sad sucker that's going to see her out in the streets and they're not going to recognize her. This is my first time ever seeing this chick. Adriana Chechik, my first time ever seeing this woman at, at any point in my life. So I'm completely out of the loop on who it is that she is and what it is that she does. And so if you just see her from the outset, just with a T-shirt and just walking around, you're just going to think that she's a normal person until you can start having a conversation with her. And then you'll be able to separate the differences between whether or not she for the streets or if she not for the streets. But it's a lot of guys that's not situationally aware. So at some point, because she is a decent looking girl and she got her teeth done, and of course she got her homegirl that's also for the streets, but we're not necessarily talking about her because she didn't reveal her body count, but obviously, you know what I'm saying? Think about that. It's somebody that's going to kiss her in the mouth. Even a dude that may look at her as just a hoe. A lot of y'all be loving on these chicks. You be kissing her in the mouth. You be feeling some type of way about her. You be getting emotionally attached to her. Meanwhile, she didn't blew off 70 dudes in one day, one night. You know how epic that is? You know how hard that got to be for a woman? You know how much she has to be up 70? Either somebody capping or that's just crazy. That's just crazy. And I can't imagine that everybody didn't use the rubber. So this is wild to me, right? I don't even want to deal with somebody if I'm single out here in these streets. Honestly, if you single, if you in a relationship, if you married and you got a side chick, whatever it is your situation is, I don't want to be dealing with the person that everybody else got access to. I don't know. Maybe it's just levels to this, right? Because, again, 5,000 bodies, 5,000. Like, at what point does a woman wake up and say, you know what? Body count don't matter anymore. Because a lot of the women that I know, are very, very careful about where it is that they step into or what they step into and what they give people access to, right? Obviously, a lot of them was married or whatever, so on and so forth, or they wind up getting married. But maybe that's the reason why they got married is because they have a different mindset and they wasn't affected by what was going on socially with all of these different women that think that body count don't matter. I think it's crazy. I honestly do think it's crazy. I don't know how y'all can justify this to women. 
I, I don't. And there's so many women that support it. Y'all support this whole um, body positivity, sexual movement, feminist, do whatever you want. And of course, you're going to have a whole bunch of simps that's probably rocking with her on OF, probably on all of her streams, sucking up to her, making love to whatever it is that she does to themselves. You know what I'm saying? And it's just it's just reckless. It's honestly just reckless. It's silly. And it's 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 unfortunate that we live in a time to where even guys can't even separate the difference between a hoe and a housewife. But even when she's telling you, when she's being absolutely transparent and she's saying that, yo, this is my body count, this is how I'm rocking, a lot of people still think that it's a joke and it's not nothing that we need to be taking serious as far as how it is that we're raising our daughters and what our sons are then being subjected to. I don't even, I ain't even got into the part where I think that it's a strong possibility that she got to be carrying something. Look, if you get 5,000 bodies, now what was educated, you know what I'm saying, what was communicated to me was that you don't necessarily have to uh, not wear rubber in order to be able to get a venereal disease. Ain't no way in the world that you're going to convince me that she, A, used the rubber for every single person, especially at a festival where she was just sucking dudes off. And then B, that she not walking around with something that's deadly or not conducive for what it is that you're trying to do in your future, right? I'm not going for it. I'm not rocking with it. This is crazy, and I'm never going to validate bad behavior. But hey, I'm open to the possibility that I'm wrong because I know it's a lot of people that may disagree with me on this subject. Let me know in the comments. Do you think that, because if it was 5,000, it's probably more like six or 7,000, maybe even double. Do you think that it's logical for us to even be having conversations with women that got a body count that they assuming is well over 5,000 or she sucked off over 70 dudes and one night to completion? Oh my God. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Teach Hanley 30% off your first order plus a free gift. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm curious as to what you guys think in the comments. Let me know. Do you think that this is logical? Should we be having these conversations? And does it make sense for even to be taking these chicks into consideration? Or are you comfortable no matter what her body count is? 5,000, 10,000? We're risking it all. Let me know in the, in the comments. I love you. I appreciate you. I will see you for the Millionaire Morning Show. Peace.